Hello everyone, back to you in today's second video, doing Jamie Friday for today's second video. So as always on a Friday, we've got your month ahead. Look ahead, and this is going to take us into the middle of September, can you believe? So yeah, time is getting on now, isn't it? We're moving into the autumn now uh, with uh, with Jamie Friday. So I'll get on with that for you very shortly. Just say about the first video released today. Uh, was the European outlook. So let's have a look at weather in detail for the next week to 10 days across uh, Europe. And uh, also going to have the 10 to 14 day video update with all regular features coming up for you uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, right, let's go with Jeremy Friday then. So we're going to start off with Japanese uh, 500 millibar height anomalies from the uh, Arctic and North Pole view down. So, of course, this is the uh, North Pole just here. This is the wider Arctic circle. We've got mid latitudes. Mid latitudes are around there. So, uh, blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, these flow charts break down into weekly periods. The first weekly period is going to take us from uh, today, the 21st through to the 28th of, uh, of August. So uh, the coming week is going to be unsettled with below average heights, low pressure across not just the UK, but much of the North Atlantic and also northern parts of Europe as well. Uh, jet stream is coming through something like that. We've got a ridge down to the southwest that will keep southern Europe mainly dry. And also a bit of high pressure up towards Greenland. And the region that gave, gave us a heat wave, that's receding back into eastern parts of Europe. Generally, it's Atlantic-driven week ahead and will be quite unsettled. This is how week two is looking. This one takes us from the 28th of August to the 4th of September. So uh, with this one, if I have below average heights over and to the east of the country, above average heights out to the west in the Atlantic, a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge, uh, the flamber jet is going to be going something a little bit like that. Uh, so that looks like it could be quite a cool and showery start to September, end of August and uh, beginning of September on a cool and uh, sort of showery note there. Uh, the United is blocked off, so possibly not overly uh, an overly wet, but certainly looks like it would be quite cool with winds coming in from a northerly sort of direction. And we go through to weeks three and four. Very little to go on here. This is before through to the 18th of September. Very little to go on. What we can see is that there's not much in the way of high pressure in uh, our part of, of the North Atlantic and Northern Europe. So we've got a ridge over here towards uh, the east coast of America and uh, around Newfoundland. We've got another ridge over here across west parts of Russia. There's a tiny little ridge down towards Spain. Otherwise, there's not much else to go on. But there's got to be some low pressure somewhere. And I suspect we could have low pressure coming in through here uh, with, with the flow and the jet possibly doing something uh, a little bit like that, perhaps. Possibly. So so we could be actually rather cooler and more unsettled there than you might think, given the, uh, uh, given the uh, anomaly that we're looking at. But bear in mind, uh, you know, it's a two-week anomaly, so it might be transitional. There could be some high pressure maybe in one week and some low pressure in another week, and then that's how we come out of that rather strange-looking uh, anomaly. So not a great deal to go on there for weeks three and four. Uh, so this is how the uh, mid-latitude and uh, tropical view uh, is looking in terms of temperature and precipitation anomalies. Uh, so British Isles in top right-hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it along with Ireland as well. We're always perched on the, <laughs> on the very edges with these long-range charts, or most of them anyway, have us perched on the edge. Uh, right, so below, below average heights with these blue colours coming in off the Atlantic into the UK in weekend. This is week one, by the way, uh, which takes us from between. 21st, <coughs> excuse me, from the 21st through to the 28th of, uh, of August. And by the way, you can't see the Arctic and uh, North Pole view. That's off the chart up here. But of course, we have had a look at that view down, so we know what's going on uh, roughly there. Uh, okay, so uh, yes, uh, 500 mm high only for the week ahead is unsettled. Low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead are average to slightly above average. Maybe a bit surprising given how unsettled it looks. Uh, but of course, it's starting off quite well, though. It's going to transition cooler, though, as we go into uh, week and next week. Rainfall anomalies are going to be uh, above average. It's going to be a wetter than average week coming up with quite significantly uh, above average rainfall on the way. 
Uh, week 2 takes us from the 28th of August, 4th of September. This time we have a mid-Atlantic ridge, so we have some higher pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. We have a trough of low pressure over and to the east of the country. Winds are probably coming in from like uh, a bit of a northerly direction with that one. Uh, still, temperature's holding up quite well, though, actually, surprisingly. So I would have thought this is like to be rather cooler than this is showing. It is actually placing us like slightly above average uh, with, with the temperature anomaly. I'm not sure about that, given a mid-Atlantic region, a trough of low pressure over to the east of the country. I would have thought that's likely to be quite a cool scenario. Uh, but anyway, that's what the model is showing. Uh, and it is still unsettled as well with above average rainfall here from the 28th of August to the 4th of September. And then finally going through to week three and four, we have this rather strange looking uh, anomaly then taking us from the 4th through to the 18th of September with above average heights just there and also a long way to our east and very little else to uh, go on. It is warmer than average, though, so uh, let's go for a warmish uh, September here, the JMA. Above average temperatures are being predicted there, but still rather unsettled, still above average rainfall. So it's all rather strange, this JMA uh, update. So, uh, so yeah, wetter than average, uh, but quite warm. Uh, there we go, that's what it's showing anyway this week. It's a rather strange update from uh, from JMA, from the JMA this week. So uh, let's move on to CFS V2, see what that one is showing. So again, these are 500 millibar heights breaking down into week beers. The first week beer takes us from the 21st, 27th of August. The coming week is looking unsettled with below average heights in off the Atlantic into northern Europe. Jet streams coming in uh, as well. We have higher pressure. Higher pressure is down to our southwest just there and up towards Greenland as well to some degree. So looking Atlantic driven and quite unsettled in the week here. Uh, week two looks like that 28th of August to the 3rd of September. Above average heights are to our west southwest. Below average heights are to our east. Probably doing something a little bit like that with the flow with the jet stream. Um, so, yes, I think that could be rather a cool and showery start to uh, September, end to August and start to September. Week 3 is the 4th through to the 10th of September. Some above average heights sort of over to the southwest country, below average heights up towards Greenham. Flow is like flat and westerly. Um, so probably reasonably settled, particularly so down in the south and in the southwest, more unsettled up in the north. Temperatures probably close to average, really. And then week four looks more unsettled. This is the 11th to the 17th of September. The high pressure pulls out into the middle of the Atlantic. Below average heights develop to the north of Scotland, over country. The flow of the jet does something like that, looking cool and unsettled in week four from the 11th to the 17th of September. Cool and unsettled there with, uh, with low pressure being uh, spells of rain, you would have thought. Uh, now, this is uh, a little bit more like it from a temperature anomaly. So this is week one temperature anomaly from the 23rd, 27th of August, uh, looking cooler than average. And it's more in line with what I'd expect, given the unsettled nature of weather we've got coming up. Yes, it is starting off relatively warm right now, but for anomaly for the, for the next week, I think that'd be a little bit more... Uh, cooler than what the JMA is showing. So that's more in line with what I'd expect. See, week two is also looking cooler than average, quite significantly so now. This is 28th of August to the 3rd of September. Uh, also, many parts of Europe looking cooler than average. And like going into the deeper greens, that's like going down around two degrees uh, below average. So, so really quite a cool uh, end to August, start September. Week three is under that little ridge. Uh, so this is before the 10th of September, near a normal, uh, near a normal temperatures then. So it just begins to get a, a little bit milder, perhaps. Uh, but rather cool again for week uh, four, which is the 11th, 17th of September. That one also looks a little bit cool. So so on this particular CFS update, September is showing up to be a rather coolish sort of month. Uh, certainly the first half of it anyway. Uh, rainfall anomalies uh, in week one from the 21st, 27th of August. Wetter than average through uh, most parts of the country. Uh, week two rainfall anomaly from the 28th of August, 3rd of September, near normal. Uh, not a deep, particularly big deviation. Week 3 from the 4th to the 10th of September. That one is also uh, near a normal. And week 4, uh, possibly hinting at being a bit drier than average. This is, 11, this is the 11th, 17th of September. Maybe a little bit uh, on the drier side. But it's all very sketchy. Week 3 and 4 always have uh, a, a really uh, really low signal, really weak signal uh, for, uh, for precipitation. They always do. Uh, right, so quite a quite an uh, interesting update from uh, JMA Friday this week. 
I'm not sure what's going on with the JMA. The temperature normally is not too warm uh, to me based on the 500 millibar height anomalies that, that model is coming up with. So I would sort of reduce the temperature uh, for, for the rest of August and into uh, September. I think the CFS looks more plausible with its temperature forecast, more to be on the cooler side of things than the JMA. Um, rather mixed and unsettled weather continuing into like the end of August than through September. It does get very, very sketchy, doesn't it? I think we possibly see some higher pressure uh, through September, but, but whether it lasts all that long uh, remains to be seen, and we could be seeing a few hints here of a rather cool and unsettled September, certainly the first half to it anyway, we could be seeing those hints today uh, from uh, from JMA Friday, so so yeah, quite an interesting update. Right, we'll be, remember, it's just a snapshot of what these models are showing, they could all look very different next week when we do JMA Friday again next week, so so this is just a snapshot, and, uh, and don't take any forecast beyond sort of uh, five to seven days too seriously. Uh, we'll be back later on uh, with the 10 to 14 day video update including all of the regular features, so come back for that then. Uh, but for Jerry Friday, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.